vehicle to internal power. Auto sequence initiated. Vehicle now on internal power. The launch command has been issued. You can launch see the issued. rocket engines firing. Second umbilical tower. Power is going to start ramping up. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum. Turbo pumps at flight speed and lifts off. Sergey Rosansky, Randy Bresnik, and Paolo Nespoli rocketing away from Baikonur and on their way to the International Space Station. And lift off. You can see the very bright first stage engines cutting across the night sky there on Baikonur. 25. 20 seconds into flight, all systems are running. Getting reports, everything running nominally or normally for the first stage, so getting good first stage performance so far. Soyuz delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust with those four boosters and the single core engine. Is nominal. They're going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Already passed one minute since liftoff. Velocity already approaching 1,100 miles per hour for the Soyuz spacecraft. Your pitch are nominal. Copy. 70 seconds into launch, into flight. Everything's nominal on board. And continuing to get good reports from the controllers in Baikonur. Everything looking good with the rocket so far as the first stage continues onwards. Into flight. Everything's nominal on board. Ninety seconds into flight, stage one and two thrusters are working nominally. So we roll pitch and you are nominal. And we have confirmation that the escape tower has been jettisoned. And there you can see the four strap-on boosters flying away, making something known as the Koryov Cross. The four strap-on boosters now detached. The first stage has done its job. And then the core stage of the second stage continuing to burn now. At this point, the rocket already 48 miles in altitude, traveling or rather 28 miles in altitude, the Soyuz traveling at over 3,300 miles per hour. 150 minutes in seconds and into flight. Second stage, thrusters are working nominally. And everything continuing to look good with the second stage. Getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer that the launch shroud, so that protective shroud around the Soyuz spacecraft has been jettisoned. So Soyuz now exposed during the additional climb to orbit. All parameters are nominal. At this point, a little over three minutes since launch, the Soyuz rocket traveling at a speed of over 4,700 miles per hour. For those just tuning in, we had a successful launch. Those lights you see coming back down are the strap-on boosters in the escape tower that de uh, detached from the rocket following a successful flight. Second stage, the core stage, continuing to perform as expected. That core stage, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. And it has a single engine with four different fuel chambers and it provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude. And it's going to continue firing for about 3 minutes and 28 seconds of operation. And it burns until the 4 minute 43 second mark. And then we'll, uh, the Soyuz will use again what's known as a hot stage technique. So the third stage will actually ignite while the second is still burning. Thrusters are working nominally. A view inside the cabin, you can see uh, things going very well for the rocket. The crew, uh, Paolo Nespoli here in the center of the screen, Sergey Rosansky in the bottom right corner of your screen. And then getting some animations now from Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency. Again, at this point, the vehicle is still being controlled by the blockhouse, the control center in Baikonur. And then following separation from the third stage, control of the Soyuz spacecraft will get handed over to the Russian mission control just outside of Moscow.